know what they say about week seven of the college football season. It's a great week to make some money. Hopefully you started off strong with the under in Syracuse NC State last night. But if you didn't, there's an action-packed slate to look forward to this weekend. Welcome into this week's edition of Beat the Bookie. I'm your gambling aficionado, Owen Valentine, and let's make some money together on Saturday. But before we look ahead, let's rewind and take a look at Mike Edzema's performance from last week. He goes 4-4 four four for a small profit of $2.92. His saving grace was that Cincinnati money line. But hey, anytime you don't pay the book, it's a great week. So take those last few dollars and toss them on top of a parlay and try and maximize profits this week. Speaking of this week, a lot of ranked matchups to cover. Let's take a look at the best bets from our college football games of the week. Let's get it rolling. Number six, Oklahoma travels to number 11, Texas, for the Red River rivalry. My bet, $10 on Texas plus 10. Both teams three and two against the spread, but the two times Texas didn't cover were only by a combined one and a half points. I don't think Texas wins, but 10 points is a huge line, and Texas has proven they can play top teams close, losing by just seven points to LSU. Into the B1G, number 10, big, or number 10 Penn State at number 17, Iowa. This is a big one for me. We're gonna pay tribute to Stu Finer, take the points, and sprinkle a little bit on the money line. 10 on Iowa with three points, and $10 on the Iowa a money line plus 145. I was undefeated at home and two and one against the spread on their own turf. The only time they didn't cover was by one point. This is the people's bet of the week. Take the money and run on Iowa. Our final big game of the week is another top 10 matchup. Number seven, Florida heading to Death Valley with number five, LSU. We'll throw a tenner on LSU minus 13. And I know Florida's coming off a big win against Auburn and there's a lot of points here, but don't fall into the trap. LSU could be the most explosive offense in college football. Joe Burrow's leading them to 55 points per game. Expect them to death roll the Gators. So some tough picks in our game of the week or, or in our games of the week, but let's take a look into my personal favorite bets of the week. First, Washington State visits number 18, Arizona State. Throw $10 on ASU minus one and a half. Washington State's just one and four against the spread this season. And don't forget, it's a Pac-12 game, and home teams thrive in these spots. Arizona State is 3-1 and one at home this year, and Washington State has not won a road matchup this season. Next up, Michigan State heads to 8th-ranked Wisconsin. I'm tossing 10 on the Badgers, minus 11. Wisconsin is simply unbelievable this season. Jonathan Taylor leads the offense, and the defense has been unreal as well. Get this, they've only allowed points in two of five games so far this season for an average of five. 5.8 points against. On the other side, Michigan State has only averaged eight and a half points in games against ranked opponents. Every stat I checked reinforced the Badgers in this one. The last personal pick is a little more obscure, but I do like it. $10 on the over 57 in Miami, Ohio and Western Michigan. Miami, Ohio's hit the over in 80% of games this season, plus Western Michigan is averaging 35 points per game behind John Wasik. I don't think there will be a lot of defense here, so run with the over. Now for the big moment of the show, it's mortal lock time. I'm gonna play a teaser here, which in a nutshell is a two-team parlay where you get to add seven points in your favor to each line. I usually don't love them for college football, but there's a great opportunity this week. We're gonna tease the Michigan State Wisconsin over from 40 and a half points down to 33 and a half and pair that alongside LSU minus six down from minus 13. You throw $24 on this for a $19.20 payout. I absolutely love this bet. I love both the lines here and I love this mortal lock. Last up, let's try and get fancy. We'll sprinkle our last $6 on a parlay. Low, low risk, high reward here. 14 bet for $96.44. The first part, and it's not too fancy on the rhyme or reason, but I like Temple plus five against a questionable Memphis team. Second, Texas A&M has not had the greatest season, but they've played their top 10 opponents close. If they can stick around with Alabama, I expect under 61. And the last two slots we're gonna double down on. I love that Wisconsin bet, and I love throwing a money line like Iowa's into the slate here. $6 for nearly 100. That is exactly what parlays are all about. 
$100 have been wagered. Let's take a quick look back on how the money was spent. Really highlighted with the double down bet on Iowa with a plus three as alongside the money line. And of course, our mortal lock is going to take a teaser. $24 for 1920. We're going to take the Wisconsin Michigan State over. And we're going to pair that alongside LSU minus six. That's all we have in store for you on this week's edition of Beat the Bookie. I'm Owen Valentine wishing you the best of luck in all of your bets this weekend. Until next time, happy gambling.